moving. Well, when I say moving, I mean I've, I've moved. Uh, for the last mm, uh, three weeks or whatever, I've been in the process of moving and I've finally moved and uh, now I'm in a village. <laughs> it's kind of interesting um, because my favorite place uh, on the planet, though I haven't been there in quite a while, is a place, a little place called uh, Barango Belize. It's a village. Now you would say, hey, wait a second. Aren't you uh, from the big city? Aren't you from the South Bronx of New York City? Big, bright lights. In fact, didn't you spend, I don't know, ten, ten years in Cape Town? So I went from city to town, to Cape Town. And, uh, and then haven't you been living in, in, in Alice? Which is, some people say, it's, well, some people say it's a farm. Man, uh, Alice, you know, a university in town, and, 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 and a house, and a, you know, first a guest house and a house. And now you're in a village? Seems like you're, how do you say, uh, going down. Uh, well, your values are, are different. The reason why I brought up Barranco Belize is because um, it is my favorite place on the whole world. I haven't been there quite a, for quite a while, two decades, I guess, something like that. But when I was there, it was only like 350 people. And, um, and you had to, well, it's, it was a true village, you know. Uh, to get the time that I was first went, they had a generator that would operate like four hours a night, something like from from eight, from no, from nine to twelve, something like three hours, something like that, whatever it was. And uh, so I guess by now they're a little bit more modernized. They probably have electricity, whatever have you. I even had a time. Uh, There's this film I want to see uh, called I think it's called A Road and how a road changed the life of these villagers and they changed from villages to basically dependent or whatever have you. Which goes to my point. So I'm in a village now, and I've been thinking because there's so much stuff happening, especially in the economic scene. That, you know, I think, um, well, let me just talk about black people. You know, I'm a universalist, but don't worry about that right now. Black people are under uh, serious delusion. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, maybe it's, I'm not going to call it TV or media that made this delusion, but I mean, we seem to think that yachts and, and, and expensive champagne and houses and big houses. Uh, are the way to go. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, you should own land. I'm not saying about the size of your house or whatever it is. And, and, and you, know how, you have to know how to, you can go into debt, but you have to know how to manage debt. I mean, well, uh, so anyway, I'm not getting into all that right now. But it just seemed to me that we would be better trying to find land, uh, we as, as uh, let me not talk about me as the downtrodden. And I live with downtrodden right now. A lot of, a lot of people are downtrodden. And a little ways from the village, there's a whole squad of village, like a, a amazing, you know, uh, talking about real shack and stuff like that. I live in a, a house that's sort of, and I'm, I'm trying to find some land so we can actually build, you know, build a house. But the point that I'm trying to make in all this, uh, you get the land first, uh, and then you build what you need, and then from there you can do in modern days. You can do some other stuff. You know what I mean? You can. Get some land over there. You can get a, 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 a RV over here. You know, you, you, you know a, a little boat over there. <laughs> Whoever, talking about houseboats or something like that. And you know, you can live quite comfortably without um, the, throwing big parties. You go to other people's parties or help or, or rent some place for a party. You know, who, um, I like that. I'm saying there's ways to manage. Uh, in fact, you don't get it. You, if you're going to get a house now, I'm, I'm a little older. I owned a house a long time ago. I was like 27 years old. I had a house, um, but. The thing about a house is you can then leverage that leverage that house against certain uh, debts and whatever have you, and, and use that to you know, to obtain you know wealth as it was. Now I'm a little bit too old, well, old down to, to to accumulate uh, wealth and pass it on to generations or whatever it is. Um, my mistake, but that's that's what happens. But uh, not to continue to ramble on, but I think that we have to rethink this whole strategy because if this system falls, which it should fall. Um, uh, everything indicates that the United States is on its last legs. I mean, it might take 50 years or whatever, have you, but it's 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 gone down. And if you're going to pass, you know, some wealth onto your 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 legacy you know, or your your other people, then you better prepare them for a, a downfall. And that's why I'm bringing up this whole thing. Uh, village life, uh, that's the way to go. Or I should say land, because remember, remember, this is quite interesting. Uh, I'm in Africa, of course, uh, but remember. Africans had the land, then um, uh, the supremacists came in, and uh, I'll, let's figure let's figure out figure out don't, let's figure out how they took the land. But now they have a lot of the land, and we have myth, we have uh, uh, 
tales. We have uh, we have uh, 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 a fond remembrance of the way things used to be. So people are trying to get back to the to, to, to the roots or whatever have you. But we don't have the land anymore, and that's been the whole thing about supremacists. Well, supremacists all over the world. What they do is they come, they look, they take the land, which means they take the resources of the land. Now they even have they have airspace, whatever. Have you. They take all this stuff, and they leave you with. Um, fond memories. Um, so I guess the, what I'm trying to say is that I think one of the strategies, and there should be a bunch of strategies, I mean more than what, what, what the Panthers had a 10 or a 20 or whatever, so whoever had these point programs, you know, 9 point program, 10 point program, 20 point program, 50 point program. Um, let me just add, one point should be is uh, give a plot of land, take back the land somehow. Uh, Maybe this reparation should be about it. reparations. Is like, nah, we work this land. We want this land back that we work. That's one of the things that's happening in Africa right now. They're trying to take back, well, at least where I am in Southern Africa, take back the land. Take back the land. You take back. Uh, you take back your 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 custodial your your, custodial, your um, custodial rights of the land, which means that you will treat it much better than uh, than the supremacists who come who came and took the land and then took your wealth took your bodies, in fact, took our minds. Just an opinion from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.